Welcome to the 2023 Japan Mobility Show. Until four years ago, this was the Tokyo Motor Show, but it has metamorphosed, I don't know if that's the right word, but it has become Japan Mobility Show, which is spotlighting the future of mobility. It's a huge show. We're gonna check out all of the Japanese car manufacturers, as well as some foreign manufacturers, motorcycle manufacturers. It's a huge event. There's so much to see. We're gonna go until our legs give out. Let's go. Hop on! All right, let's kick off the show with Nissan. This is the hyperpunk SUV concept. This is one of Nissan's suite of electrified concept cars debuting at the Mobility Show. Nissan's concept hyper tour. Here we have the Hyperforce High Performance EV concept. Some obvious nods to the GTR. This is Nissan's Aria, which is kind of their entry into the semi-autonomous driving capability SUV. Coming in March of next year, there's going to be a motorsports event in Tokyo. It's the Formula E event, and it's going to be amazing. This actually is Nissan's fastest and most powerful Formula E car with a top speed of 322 kilometers per hour. Along with Mercedes, BMW has a huge market share in Japan among import cars, and their booth and selection of cars here at the show is a clear testament. This is the i4 M series. Harman and Kardon sound system. Love this digital dash here. It goes across like two thirds of the car. The M series details. This is the new class BMW Vision, obviously a concept car. More and more vehicles are going with this transparent roof. Gorgeous machine. Carbon fiber details on the dash. Here we have the X2 M series in a matte blue. Beautiful. This is the BMW XM label red. That'll set you back. Today's exchange rate about 200,000 bucks. 748 horse all wheel drive. It's a plug-in hybrid. This is the fully electric i7 M70. About 200 grand, 650 horse. Huge digital dash up front. You can see it has this massive display back here for the passengers. This is the X7 M60i. This thing will set you back about 150,000 bucks. A Marina Bay blue metallic. Really a hot color. A tour wouldn't be complete without looking under the bonnet. 
Arigatouzimasu. So as a 4.4 liter V8 puts out about 530 horse, this will get you to the store very quickly. This is the fully electric iX M60, 100 kilometers an hour in about 3.8 seconds. Really slick door handles too, look at that. There's just like a little button inside. Again, large TFT screen. Huge acrylic roof. And a base price of about 150,000 bucks. Here we have the BMW iX5 Hydrogen. Very cool. These aren't intended for sale at the moment, may be available in the second half of this decade. What we see here is the Suzuki EVX electric four-wheel drive SUV concept and is scheduled for the market in 2025. Strom 800. Here we have the Swift Concept. It doesn't look a whole lot different from the current production model. This is the Lexus booth. You can get an idea of the size. Here we have the Lexus flagship BEV concept vehicle, the LFZL, Lexus Future Zero Emission Luxury. Check out that bamboo detail in the cabin. Look at that plush shag carpet. And the LFZC is slated for the market in 2026. This is cool. A lot of these manufacturers are coming out with off-road vehicles. It's the RZ Outdoor Concept by Lexus. Here is the new Mitsubishi Triton truck. And actually, I narrated a TV commercial for this model a few years back. Why did we make the Triton so tough? Why did we give it class-leading four-wheel drive? Why did we pack it with so much power? This is the Eclipse Cross plug-in hybrid. It's really a sharp-looking SUV, and they're going for around 30,000 bucks. This is the Mitsubishi DX Concept. Take a look at that. Look at those seats. Don't those look inviting? To the Opera James. And here we have the EKX EV. Fully electric Mitsubishi. Small size box van. I like the color. It's, I don't know what you call that. Like a robin egg blue, sky blue, baby blue. I don't know, boner pill blue. This I want. Oh my God, look at this. It's the YXZ1000R off-road vehicle.
the hydrogen research scooter. Look at this tank <laughs> sitting out in the open like this, just asking for trouble. So we're here in the Yamaha booth, and of course, Yamaha doesn't just make vehicles, they make drum kits and other instruments. Here's an upright bass. I love it, the EFV, electric fun vehicle. Oh, hell yeah, that's great. All right, so I'm here with Watanabe-san. We're gonna talk about the Motoroid. This is the Motoroid 2, right? Okay. What's the original concept for this vehicle? How to create the relationship, communicate with the machine, like a partner between the human and the machine by the hand gesture. I so, see. attractive scene is the super low speed. Okay, okay. Where we can achieve the, by the self stand the capability. The Motoroid can the catch up the, their gesture by the upper camera and the side camera. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, based on their, their hand movements or yeah. body movements, the, the vehicle yes, yes, responds yes. to that. Uh, also, the, uh, they can ride by the handles, okay. but the mainly the, they can using right. hand gesture and face recognition. This exterior design is completely different from the uh, current the motorcycles. Right, right. Yeah. The main focus is the, how to create the uh, relationship to communicate I see. with the human. Yeah. This uh, concept, the main purpose is how to create the great attachment, not only the functional uh, value, like uh, emotional value. Right, right, yeah. right. These bikes are great, the XSR 900. These things are total bucking Broncos. Absolutely, if you can rent one, test ride one, highly recommend. I love that color scheme, that's gorgeous. It's the YZR 500. Okay, so we're here with Take no san from Yamaha, and I've been asking him about the Tricera, mm -hmm. which is this three-wheel concept vehicle. You know, we see a lot of these concept vehicles. Is there a chance that this will become a production model? We hope it uh, strongly uh -huh. to go to production model. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it's a leisure vehicle, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, a pleasure vehicle, like a motorcycle. So you can feel wind, uh, rain. <laughs> right, right. And also, this steering is strongly firm. Uh huh. More than four wheel car. The rear wheel also turns. Yeah, yeah. That enables you to have more of a tighter turning radius, right? Yes. We are still by manual mode. You can choose the steer angle. You can feel more happy feeling. Okay. <laughs> cool. This is a full-size mock-up of the Honda Elite Jet. This very futuristic looking van is the Honda Cruise Origin, and it's jointly being developed with GM. It's an autonomous transit vehicle, and those bulky boxes you see on the corners are the camera sensors to ensure safe delivery to your destination the Honda Prelude Concept EV. 
This looks like it's about ready to roll off the lot. A really nice looking model. This is the coolest display here at the Japan Mobility Show. All those little black specks are thousands of matchbox cars, known as Tomika cars here in Japan. Check it out. There's thousands of them in here. So cool, very creative idea. This gorgeous vehicle is the Mazda Iconic SP and our cover model for this year's video. That red is what Mazda calls viola red, and they developed this color specifically to help accent the lines of the iconic SP. It has a two-rotor rotary EV system that's scalable and can burn a variety of fuels, including hydrogen. Now, they designed it to have an exact 50-50 front-to-rear weight distribution with a very low center of gravity, and I want one. This is part of the new 2024 Mazda Roadster lineup. This is the RF. Look at that finish. Open top here. Looks like a target top. The seats are at an incline that just kind of sucks you in. Nice job, Mazda. Five-speed manual. Cool car. Guy's a giant. So, this is the BYD booth. Build your dreams. Hmm. And it is massive. This is a Chinese company making all electric vehicles. They've got luxurious SUVs, family cars, wagons. This is the Yang Wang, which is part of the BYD group. This is their luxurious SUV, a plug-in hybrid. This is cool. These markers here indicate how deep the water is you're going through. So it's safe up to one meter. And these light up as you're charging. These are LED lights in here. AIM is a Japanese company making NEV new energy vehicles. The AIM EV Micro One is this cute two-seater and is slated for manufacture in Okinawa from 2025. This is their slick NEV Sport One and it has some pretty impressive specs. Zero to 100 in 3.1 seconds and a top speed of 300. Great song. Played this at my wedding. I'm getting a little misty-eyed. Let the good times roll. This is the new Kawasaki EV Ninja. It's called the E1. And over here is the HEV. It's the hybrid. It has, a, of course, a combustion engine, but also an electric motor. It's basically a 400cc displacement 
with the power of a 650. With the electric motor activated, it has the takeoff speed of a superbike, a thousand cc superbike. This is the new 2024 Kawasaki Eliminator. It's a model change. It's a beaut. Nice matte black finish. It's 400 cc. This is the KRX off-road vehicle by Kawasaki. So here's the Bimota KB4, and as you may or may not know, Bimota was purchased by Kawasaki, and they're actually using their engines in the bikes. This is the Tessie H2 Carbon. You see all kinds of mobility devices here at the show. These guys are kind of wheeling around. Hi guys. This is Subaru's sport mobility. This is clearly Subaru's concept vehicle. The new Forester X Edition. Mercedes G Wagon concept called the EQG. Yeah, this G Wagon is all G'd out. What is the model name on this one? Oh, this is AMG S63 e performance. S63 uh, AMG, okay. V8, right? S4 with a V8. Okay. Oh, sweet. A 
thought Aston Martin was going to be a no-show here, but alas, they have one car on display. Actually, that too. Another booth as well. Woo. Rip City. Funky. Gachapon vehicle here. So evidently, if you fill out a questionnaire, you can turn the dial and get one of these gachapon. But we're not going to do that. So this is Mario. He's our camera guy today from Indonesia. What is this? So Tuku is actually a coffee chain in Indonesia. And the Tuku Liling is, it's come from the word keliling, which means go around. Okay, so yeah. it's a mobile coffee shop. Mobile coffee shop. Yeah. Cool. Toyota has a few electric vehicles here at the show. This is the CHR. And this SUV concept is called the FT3E. They're pursuing future vehicles as not only a tool for physical transportation, but also a lifestyle partner. Okay. This is Toyota's concept display vehicle to display your company name or product that you're selling or whatever in a digital format. As this is the Japan Mobility Show, you can see they're showcasing all kinds of mobility devices. Now, this is hot. The FTSE concept. It's a BEV and it absolutely hauls ass. In the cockpit, they have integrated knee supports to help keep you in your seat during the pants crapping G's it pulls, assuming it goes in production. Let's hope it does. This is the cross van concept from Toyota's van and SUV division called Toyota Auto Body. Very cool. It features sliding doors front and rear and is intended for urban travel and heading into the woods for glamp outs and other adventures. This is the new 2024 Crown Sport plug-in hybrid. Really a sexy design. It's a 2.5 liter engine and 21 inch wheels. I really like this model. This is awesome. This is the Kayoi Bako, Toyota's concept camping car. Oh yeah, the Toyota booth knows how to party. Now THK is a Japanese company that makes linear motion guides, like ball bearing stuff and they've thrown their hat into the BEV race. This is the LSR5 concept car, luxury sport revolution. It's a pretty sick design. A really amazing selection of RVs here. In Japan, they call them camping cars. This one's made by Fiat. That's cool. Get your luggage right here. Sleeping bunks. Fiat Verona. Oh, these are cool. So the Japanese are really into glamping these days and these really kitted out camping cars. This is funky. Disney themed conversion van. For the 100 year anniversary. It's licensed by Disney. Disney 100. This is funky. Uh, 
This is the Toyota BR75. It got the Good Design Award this year. Incredibly long. Look at the size of this vehicle. Oh, I like it, terracotta tile. Really, really spacious inside here. Oh, I love this. It's like got a sauna in there. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I would go camping every weekend. Yeah, look at that, the Joby passenger drone. The reason for the name change from Tokyo Motor Show to Japan Mobility Show is to introduce all forms of transportation, both current and those of a very near future that Japan is pushing hard for. So this is the Ihang flying car, basically it's a drone on sale in Japan. Do you need a license? Menkyo No license. No license. Really? I don't believe that. No license? Oh, it's auto auto autonomous. Wow. Cool. I can't believe that this ain't blowing up the internet. That seat reminds me of my first bench press. You don't see these very often. This is a Koenigsegg. Look at that. Wow. I mean, talk about a vehicle. I'm not mad about the color scheme, but. Daihatsu ladies, hello. Yoroshiku. 
Here we have a Daihatsu concept, super cute. This was Daihatsu's vision of the future. Mirai means future, and oh, how things have changed. Midget. Hey, back in the 50s, this was completely acceptable. This is really cute. This front end here, it says, please do not touch, but my God, I just want to touch it. How can you make a puffy front end on a car and not expect people to touch it? All right, guys, that is a wrap. The 2023 Japan Mobility Show. What an event it has been. I'll tell you what, the future looks pretty bright with some of these mobility devices and concept cars, and the new vehicles are amazing. Let me know in the comments what you like the most. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you on the next one. I hope you saw your dream vehicle. Let me know what it is in the comments and be sure and subscribe to the channel for more moto vlogs in Tokyo and Japan. And why not join me on Patreon? It's free and I share content there as well. The link is in the description. Ciao for now, guys.